Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Ratio Man back at it with another banger. And today we have another commentary video. Today I'm gonna be doing a talk it topic that I've dreaded for a while. We're gonna be replying to hate comments. That's right, Ratio Fam. What I've done is I've gathered and accumulated all of the negative evil comments. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look respond some criticism which is valid others is just keyboard warriors so let's just let's just get right into it so we're just going to be taking a look at a, at them so this is throughout a handful of videos so we're going to start off with one about ratio leader you know my my biggest project it says i could write a script a better script with my eyes closed uh no you couldn't you don't have the slightest inkling of how much time and effort went into ratio eater that was I, it literally got nominated for a, a, an oscar like you know if you followed me on twitter at ratio man 67 on twitter you would know this so i don't think you could write a better script i'm gonna be honest okay next one ratio eater more like booty eater um i don't i don't think so i've not i don't eat booty that's yucky you know you could get a lot of germs from that and um i think if you're making fun of the title you miss the greater point of the video because that's just the name of the operation so you know just you know may may maybe pay a bit more attention next time when you're when you're watching a as an ambitious cinematic masterpiece such as ratio leader so next one here's a criticism what was the point of the sorrow he did literally nothing. Okay, this one's fair. This one I'll accept. Um, okay, so I had I included the sorrow for three reasons. One, he's my favorite boss fight in Snake Eater. So there's one. Number two, he's gonna be really important later on in the franchise. And three, I wanted to give my boy Owen Glancy some screen time. So kind of like grooming him so he's ready for when Sons of Ratios comes around and he has a you know in-person part. So those are the three reasons why, but I, I could see why somebody would think that he serves no purpose. Okay, next one. Bro is not Big Boss. Wait one second. Who's Big Boss now, you dumb gay bitch? Okay. Next ne next comment. This is so cringe, Lamau. You know that that's your opinion. I I personally think it's it's peak, but you know, different strokes for different folks. You know, as I like to say, can't win them all. Next comment. This is in regards to my most recent video about Old Snake and Fortnite. It says, "I got clickbaited. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay either. I'm just pointing out what I saw." Okay. Next one. This is in regards to my Falcon clips. Knee. More like P. I will say this. The word P and the word knee do rhyme. However, Falcon P doesn't roll off the tongue like Falcon knee. And also, I'd like to see you try to hit that knee when you're drunk on New Year's playing quick plays in your friend's basement with no 5G. Okay, this one is in regards to Guns of the Ratio. It's my first big movie. Okay, bro really found... No other way to have two of him, Lamau. Yeah, yeah. Roll it. Roll the clip. I am your former B. I am Lord Elliewood. No fucking way. Way. Yeah, so this is why we're going to have Zach edit with the Ratio Gear videos from now on because I can't edit for shit. Okay. I've seen dogs write better scripts than this. Okay, now this one, this one just kind of sets me off because what dog has the the intelligence to write not only a script, but one that's more masterfully written than Guns of the Ratios, you know? This one is just it's just ignorant, really. Like when you when you think about it, you know, in the grand scheme of time and space, all the movie comes down to is the script. And no dog in this universe is going to write a script that has the, the same level of heart, soul, and love that was put in the Guns of the Ratios. So, 
idiot. Okay, next one. Homie is the king of yapping. Um, okay, so I feel like with this one, it's not entirely true. I don't even have that many lines in Guns of the Ratios. Like, I just, I don't even talk that much. I'd say, like, Ratio Eater is more of, like, a yap fest, but, like, you know, these Gen Zers and their TikTok attention span, so just gonna reflect that run one right back at you. Okay, last one we're gonna look at today. I don't think bro knows what COVID is. Now, I'm gonna show you something real quick. Back in January of 2022, the day after my birthday, I got this. See that? That is a positive pregnancy test. I was pregnant. So, you know, I did the one thing I could do. I gave birth to a beautiful baby daughter. Her name is Kaga. And she, I haven't checked on her in months. It's been a very long time since I've played Stardew Valley. Kind of fell off the hype train. So, I mean, like, you could make the argument that I'm a bad parent for that. Or the fact that I wanted to try again when I found out that my, my child was going to be a a daughter and not a son because as some of you and by some of you i mean owen knows i'm going to be naming my first son sephiroth so you know there's that but yeah i know what COVID is so yeah so you know biggest takeaway from this don't let the ops get to you because you know what it just do what makes you happy you know like if you have fun doing something you shouldn't let the ops's you know, opinions hinder that from you, you know? Nobody can take away from you whatever you want to do, you know? Autism is a gift, you know? If it wasn't for that and my my psyche, we, we, ratio eating wouldn't exist. So that's one way to look at it. So just just stay positive, you know? Don't even worry. Don't, don't, don't listen to any of the ops, you know? Phantom ratio is going to be coming. It's on the way. You still got to still need Anthony to confirm with me that he's going to be Skull Trooper. And uh, yeah, so look forward to that. So see you all in the next one. Ratio Man out.